Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and start in the workbook on page 292. What we're working on is factors and divisibility. So everything we've been working on is coming up and we're kind of doing a culminating activity of practicing this. So you're going to turn to 292 in your workbook and you're going to look at number one. So this is one of those things that you're going to put into effect. Oh great, I have my pencil. Okay, here it is. And you're going to practice what it means, all these divisibility rules that we've been talking about. And you're going to need your divisibility rule handout so you can use that. So you're going to need this today as well. All right, so is factor, excuse me, is 4 a factor of 28? In other words, if I were to divide 28 divided by 4, or in other words, is 28 evenly divisible by 4? And the answer is yes. So how many times can 4 go into 28? And that's 7. So here you would draw this as 1, 2, 3, 4. So here's your 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that would be 28. In other words, can I make 4 rows of 28? Excuse me, 28 be divided into four rows. Absolutely, and seven are in each row. All right, so four is a factor of 28. Okay, two through five is super, super easy. Is five a factor of these numbers, right? Yes or no? Well, then, then we look down here and we look. Five is a factor, or excuse me, a number is divisible by five if the number ends in a zero or five. Well, let's look at each of these numbers. Are my numbers ending in a zero or five? Zero or five? No. Zero or five? Yes. Zero or five? No. Zero or five? No. That's simple. That simple. All right. So I'm going to flip up. You're going to turn. You're going to page to two nine. Excuse me, two ninety three. Looking up at the top. This is what we're talking about the factors. This is just like that factor tree or factor T chart that we did yesterday. So you're going to think about your divisibility rules. So you always start with 1, and it's always 1 times the number. So 1 times 24 is 24. Okay, is 24 divisible by 2? What's my rule for 2? Again, going back and looking at my paper. 2, the number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even. Is the last digit even? Absolutely. So 2 times what is 24? 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Is my number evenly divisible by 3? Well, my, again, my 3 rule is the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6. Can I divide 6 by 3? Yep. So my answer is 3. So 3 times what got me 24? That's 8. 3 times 8 is 24. What about 4? Yep. You should know this. This is a simple division rule. Again, the divisibility rule is not on the paper that we did because this true rule is when a number, number's last two digits are divisible by 4. Well, there's only two digits in this number. So therefore, 24 is divisible by 4 merely because it is divisible by 4. 4 times what? 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Well, I'm done because it gives me a blank, or excuse me, there's no more. Another reason why it's done is that 5 wouldn't go here because my number doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. What is after 5? 6. Right here. 6 times 4 is 24, just like 4 times 6 is 24. So there's no difference. So then here you're going to simply list your factors. 1, 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, 6. So this is telling me a completely different story. So when you're done with finding the factors of 39, how many factors are you going to have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Whereas I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 over here. So obviously 1 times 39 is 39. Is 39 divisible by 2? Nope. Is 39 divisible by 3? Well, 3 plus 9 is 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Ooh, I don't know how to do that one, so I'm going to come over here. 39 divisible by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. 
and 3 goes into 9 3 times. So 1 and 13. So 13 times 3 is 39. And therefore my factors are 1 and 39, 3 and 13. Okay? Now I move down here and it says list all the factor pairs for the number. Make a table to help. Well, if I were you, I would go ahead and just turn your paper and use this, what it has right here. Use this factor tree right here, this little line right here. Do 56 and make that my factor T. So we know 1 and 56. It's 56 divisible by 2, ladies and gentlemen. What is my 2 rule? A number that ends in a even number. Is this an even number? Yes, it is. Ooh, I don't know what that is, so therefore I'm going to have to take a paper, a piece of notebook paper, and I'm going to have to divide. I'm doing this before I even start. Should I have a remainder? No, because I know that 56 is evenly divisible by 2. Perfect. So 2 times 28 is 56. 56 divisible by 3, well, 5 plus 6 is 11. Is 11 divisible by 3? Nope. So if 2 and 3 are not together, then who else isn't going to be there? 6. Good job. What about 4? I don't know about 4, so I'm going to have to divide. I told you before, the rule for 4 is the last two digits. Well, I don't know if 56 is. 4 times 5 is 1. Bring down my 6. Can 4 go into 16? Sure can. 4 times. Perfect times. So guess what? 4 times 14 is... 4 and 14 are factors. Whoa! 4 and 14. 5? Nope. 6? Will 6 go in there? Nope, because I don't have 2 and 3. Well, 7? I don't know. 7? Oh, look! 7 times 8. So 7 and 8. Okay. And guess what? Right here, I'm done. Why? Because what comes after 7? 8. And it's there. So now I'm done. So then I'm going to turn my paper back. And I'm going to list my factor pairs. 1, 56. 2, 28. 4, 14. 7, and 8. Same thing with 64. Turn it to the side. I'm sorry, I'm turning this to the side. I need to keep this normal. 64, making that my T chart. 1 and 64. Can 2 be divided, excuse me, 64 be evenly divided by 2? Yes. Why? Because it's even. 64 divided by 2. 2 goes into 6, 3 perfect times. 2 goes into 4, 2 perfect times. 64. 6 plus 4 is 10. Is 10 divisible by 3? No, it is not. Cannot be there. 4. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. 64 divided by 4. Oh, look at that. No remainder, so that must mean 64 is divisible by 4 18 times. 5. Is 64 divisible by 5? No, it's not. 6. No, because there's not a 2 and 3. 7? Well, no way, because I know that 7 times 9 is 63, so there's no way. 8. Well, 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 8. Oh, 8 times 8 is 64. And I'm done, because I have a double. So now, my fact, listing my factor pairs. 1, 64. 2, 32, 4, 18, 8, and 8. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can I count this 7 and 8? Can I count these as two different numbers? The answer is no. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 factors. Here there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 factors. Okay, what I'd like for you to do is now turn to page 294. All right, guys.
We're on 294. This now is we're going to apply everything we've talked about, about divisibility rules, about everything, now working with our word problems. There are 54 people attending a party. Carla is arranging tables and chairs. How could she arrange the chairs so there would be an equal number of people eat, sitting at each table? So the question is, really and truly, I've got 54 people. I've got a table and I've got chairs going around it. So, can I put 12 people? Is Can 54 be divided by 12? No. 54, so think about it, 12, 24, 36, 48, um, let's see, let's 4, 5, 60. Okay, we've already gone past it, no way. Can 54 be divided by 8? Well, think of your multiples. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24. Skip ahead, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 7 is 56. That wouldn't work. 9. Is nine is 54 evenly divisible by 9? Well, 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54. And 10. Is this number divisible by 10? No, it's not. Not only that, 9 works too because look, 5 and 4. The rule for 9 is add it is 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? Sure is. Number 14. Jake organizes 48 marbles into packs. He places the same number of marbles into each pack. How could he arrange the marbles? So again, over here, I'm trying to figure out, is 48 divisible by 8? Can I put them in piles of 8? Yeah, 6 in each pile. Can I divide 48 into groups of 10? Is, in other words, is this divisible by 10? No, because it ends in, in 8. 48 divisible by 9. Well, my 9 rule is adding the digits, 4 plus 8. 8 is 12. Is 12 divisible by 9? No, it's not. I'm done. Is 48 divisible by 10? Nope. Is it divisible by 12? Yep. Four times. I'm really hoping it's D. Is 48 divisible by 8? Yes, because 6 times 8, we established that there. Is 48 divisible by 12? Yes, it is, because 12 times 4 is 48. So therefore, my marbles can be in eight in each pack, which would be eight in each pack, would give you six in there. Twelve in each pack would give you, um, excuse me, would give you four. Oh, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Looking at this next one, Morgan has 34 rocks in her collection. She wants to put five rocks in some and seven in the other. How could she arrange them? Okay, so you're gonna do this. So right here, so five cases of, so five, six cases of five would be 30 rocks. One case of seven would be seven. 30 plus seven is 37. What's four cases of five rocks? Because the word of, four of five, of means multiply. That multiplication chart in the room says each of groups of. Look at it. Look at it above the um, bulletin board. It says of. Four of five is 20. Two of seven is 14. What's 20 plus 14? 34. I'm not stopping there. Two of five, 10. Four of seven, 28. 10 plus 28 is? 38. 5 of 5, 25. 2 of 7, 14. 25 plus 14, 39. Which one of these shows me 34 rock? So I can arrange them because if you notice, 34 is divisible by 4 and 34 is divisible by 2. Okay, last one. Mrs. Mastroni bought a set of 80 stamps. She wants to give all of her stamps to her students as a reward. She could give equal numbers to stamps to, again, this is divisibility. So let's talk about it. Is it divisible by 1? Yep, 80. Is this divisible by 2? Because it's an even number. Is this divisible by 3? 8 plus 0 is 8. Is 8 divisible by 3? No. So if it's not divisible by 3, it can't be divisible by 
six, good job. Four, yep, 20. Five, yep, it sure can. Eight. So again, don't have to know necessarily. Six, it can't. Seven, seven divided by 80. Seven cannot go into 10, so no. Eight, yes it can, and 10 right there. I'm done. One, two, four, five, eight. Nope. One, two, nope, there's no six. One, or two, four, five, eight. Two, four, eight, nine. Okay, guys, now you're gonna look on to your factors of divisibility. We are literally doing exactly what we did on the other page. You're going to list your factors just like what we did on page 293. You're going to turn this to the side. Again, you want to turn these to the side and do this right here. 18, 36, list them down. 45, 63. If you need um, your workbook, I mean, some notebook paper, do it. Explaining all of these, they say explain. And again, you're doing the analyzing, okay? You're putting it all together. So again, just like your other page, just like your other page, okay? And this one has, this one will need some help in a minute, and I'll explain to you how to do this one. But for right now, that is your instruction. When you're done, turn it into the file folder.